What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson for and today people I want to talk to you guys about how I have forgiven Ubisoft over the years. And no I am not being paid to say this or have any kind of sponsorship because I know people are gonna be like, oh Joe, I think you sold out, blah blah. Like to be honest, the only people who I have been paid from was from my brother who's the owner of MaddenAllStars.com who controls like a Madden kind of style channel and the reason why is because uh, I made some videos for him and also my old partnership team who was TGN so um, yeah those are the only people who I have received money from so anyways moving on to the topic which is Ubisoft on how I have forgiven them because well most of the games are being updated after year one so it's amazing because not many companies do this you go into Ghost Recon's Wildlands, bam, you get a new trailer, receiving a lot of new content for the PvE section and the PvP. You go into Rainbow Six Siege, bam, another one. Game is just releasing a lot of new characters and also new maps for free. Yes, it will be kind of a little bit of a grind fest, but yeah, the game is good. The Division, even after two years, the game is still being updated with a lot of new events that's coming up over the summer. So it's just amazing how their games are being handled. It's like a community for gamers. That's how it's supposed to be. Most of their stuff is for free, by the way. You go into Ghost Recon's Wildlands, a lot of the stuff also is going to be for free. So how can people still hate Ubisoft after this? Like, I don't know. But I know people are trying to slander them. I've seen some videos out there saying that the microtransactions ruin Far Cry 5, but in reality, most of these microtransactions can only buy camo for your weapons. Weapon skins. That's it. So I don't know why people are panicking over Far Cry 5. Microtransactions does not kill the game at this point. So yeah, I've been playing several other games from Ubisoft, which kind of makes me wonder, like, why are the other companies not doing this? It's because they're milking the game. And Ubisoft, I don't see them like they're milking the game. They're making their game still be alive after years. You go into the Division right now. If you guys remember the Division Vanilla. You go into the Dark Zone, you'll get killed by a guy who's 10 levels higher than you. You'll be level 15, the other guy's like level 30. And you'll be like, wow, what the fuck should I do? I have this low amount of weapons with low levels. How am I supposed to kill this guy? And that's how it was back in the day. There was a lot of bullies in the game and it was just so bad. Now you jump into this game, this armor points now into divisions. You know, they separate the divisions like 165 to 180 and then you move on to the next one. So that's the only way you can be able to like kind of balance out the game. And they did a good job with it. Also, there's going to be a lot, there's a lot of new weapons in the game that are for free. A lot of new accessories and customization options that are for free. So it's amazing what they've been doing with their games. You go into Activision and you'll see a bunch of their games not being active after a year. If, especially in Infinity Warfare, for God's sakes. That one came out a year ago and it's no longer supported with new content. You look at Black Ops 3, that's the only one from the whole series which is being supported after year 2. And the rest of the games? I don't know. But I loved Modern Warfare 3 and it stopped being supported after a year. I love Black Ops 2, it stopped being supported after a year. So I don't know, you know, what's going to make me go back to Activision, but I don't think nothing can at this point. Not even Black Ops 4. So I don't know, man. I believe Ubisoft is doing a hell of a job and they have been stepping up in their gaming industry. So um, why do people still hate them? I don't know. But I remember why I hated Ubisoft a long time ago. I hated Ubisoft because Watch Dogs was such a freaking misleading game and it was so bad also. It was bland. It was really empty. It was a dead world to me. I bought the season pass for that game also and it was just such a letdown. It was just a mission or two and that's it. <laughs> the season pass sucks in that game, Watch Dogs. I didn't like it at all. I felt like I was robbed. And then Far Cry 4 also kind of made me want to sway away from Ubisoft games because Far Cry 4 was a, literally a reskin from Far Cry 3. All they did was added new weaponry and new vehicles and new animals. And that's it. The rest of the formula like capturing bases and taking towers was still in there. It was no innovation. It was literally the same thing. You go into Far Cry 5, they changed the way they do things. There's no more towers that you have to liberate to expand the whole damn city. And there's like no more like uh, not a lot of animals anymore. But like it's still very action packed because there's a lot of random events going on in the streets. Keeping you active. Keeping you aware of things around the map. So it's crazy now in Far Cry. So the main question still stands right now. Is it worth investing money into their games of Ubisoft? To be honest, yeah. 
it's worth buying the games right now. Even after the specials, there's some specials going on right now on, on Ubisoft stores and and also on the PSN. I think you guys should buy their games. I'm thinking of changing over to For Honor also just to try it out to see what content they're offering. Because they're offering a lot of new things, man. And that's one thing that really keeps me into the game. So that is it, guys. I wanted to talk about today. Tell me your opinion about this whole situation. Do you guys like Ubisoft? Do you guys hate it? Or, you know, I'm not going to get mad. I'm just I'm not pretty much just sharing an opinion. I like Ubisoft games right now. It's amazing. Kind of wish I worked for them at some point. <laughs> but like, yeah, man. I've, I've been enjoying Far Cry 5. I've been enjoying Rainbow Six Siege. I've been enjoying The Division, Ghost Recon's Wildlands. I might jump back into it just to see what they changed. And maybe the whole game has been updated at this point. I don't even know how it is anymore. So that is it. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more content like this.